Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this video I want to go over my impressions on keeping a bare bottom tank with this peninsula tank versus a sand bed. But before I do that, if you want to help support the channel and pick up some SPS frags, you can do so at reefbum.com. And with that, let's get into the video. So a big challenge with a peninsula tank is having enough flow on the viewing end panel of the tank. And I went through a lot of different iterations with this tank to get that proper amount of flow. And you know, it's an SPS dominant tank, so I needed to really get that dialed in. <clears throat> I ended up using four Ecotech MP40s and two MP60s. So I've been really, really happy with that. But when you're using that much pumping power, you're really gonna blow a lot of stuff around, including a sand bed. So I knew going in that a sand bed would be a big, big challenge with this tank. So that was one reason why I opted not to go with the sand bed when I typically do go with the sand bed on this tank. One of the big, big pluses that I've noticed so far with the bare bottom is, is that it is so easy to spot detritus and then to siphon detritus out of the tank. And that's been key. I really haven't had a lot of uh, algae, some bubble algae in this tank, maybe uh, a slight amount of cyano, but not like the cyano that I've um, you know, been battling in the 187 gallon tank. I don't have a lot of cyano in that tank, but it's there. This tank, it's been, it's been really pretty free and clear of the um, nuisance algae. So, you know, and I, and I think also a big reason why I've been able to get the good amount of flow on the bottom of this tank to spot that detritus is that when I constructed the rock structure, I made sure to try to have as much space as possible between the rock and the bare bottom of the tank to allow a good amount of circulation and flow underneath the rock structure. So I'm really only seeing detritus collect on one end of the tank. And as I mentioned, it's been super, super easy to um, siphon that right out of the tank. Another thing that I really love about this bare bottom tank is that it gives me more real estate for SPS. And what I mean by that is that I could put SPS on the bottom. So on, you know, in my frag tanks, I have a lot of SPS and on tiles that I've been growing out, colonies have been growing out. So I had some spots to fill in on this tank and it was just really super easy to take those colonies on those tiles and put them on the bare bottom of this tank. So I just, I, I like that. I, you know, I like the fact that I can put more SPS in a tank with a bare bottom tank. And there, there have been some issues in terms of some of those tiles getting blown around because of the large amount of circulation that I have in this tank. But by and large, I've, I've been able to manage that. And I just like the look. It's kind of fills things in a bit more. And, you know, heck, if I, if I get, if I cram more SPS into a tank, the, uh, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's a big plus in my book. Another thing I want to note is I don't really miss the look of having a sand bed. I've always liked the look of a sand bed, but I guess I didn't know what it uh, would look like without a sand bed. I've got a lot of um, coralline algae growing on the bottom, so that's kind of lightened it up. But I don't know, I've always kind of kept sloppy sand beds. I've never been the type to really keep a neat sand bed. So to me, it just seems cleaner to have the bare bottom tank with that coralline algae on it. All right, so moving forward, if I start another SPS dominant tank, I don't think I see myself doing that in the near future, but you know, if I started an SPS dominant tank, would I go bare bottom or would I go with a sand bed? You know, quite frankly, at this point, I would go bare bottom. I really, really like the benefits I just talked about in terms of the bare bottom tank. The fact that um, you'd be less prone to the uh, problematic algae, more SPS on the bottom of the tank, and you could just crank more flow, which is so, so beneficial for SPS. So yeah, I think moving forward, I would um, go with the bare bottom. Yeah, so I guess this is just another example of me evolving as a reef keeper in terms of my preference for a bare bottom versus a sand bed. I did hop on the LED bandwagon finally with this tank after many years of using metal halides. So it's nice to have options, choices, to experiment. 
Anyway, that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.